Right everybody, welcome back to the Celtic career mode. Today is possibly the biggest episode so far of the whole career. We have got three massive games that we need to play today. The first one, Tottenham. Our third match of the Champions League group stage. We have our first old firm of the season. That will definitely be the biggest game of the episode. Fuck Tottenham. Uh, we've then got a game against Ross County, which will probably simulate. And we've got a game against Benfica as well. We're going to try... And get these games done. So we're playing our strongest lineup going into this game, guys. It's our first away Champions League game. Our third game. Our first away game. Let's hope we can do our best. I'm not expecting the three points. But let's try and keep maximum points. Because we have done surprisingly so well so far. So let's try and keep that up. We go White Hart Lane. Should be Wembley because Tottenham are playing their Champions League games at Wembley this season. But obviously the game is not programmed to have that. So we are playing Tottenham at White Hart Lane in our first Champions League away game. Let's hope for a good result. There's the group as it stands. Tottenham only sitting on one point. We are standing on six somehow. So uh, let's get a win here, hopefully. We'll try our best. I'm not expecting a great result in this game, but I'm expecting us to put up a fight. Oh, this is nice. Ah, Rashford just can't bring it down well at all there. I'm Oh, gone. A free kick to us. I don't think it was going to reach Sinclair, so I'm not too bothered. But that ginger bastard referee has gave us a free kick. Can we swing something decent in here? Kieran Tierney. We'll swing it in. It's a good ball. A very good ball. It's 1 0. <laughs> Eric Sevilla at White Hart Lane makes it Celtic 1. Tottenham 0. I was not expecting anything to come from that, but a very good ball from Kieran Tierney. And the Champions League dream is. Continuing on right now as we speak, it is living on. We are sitting at maximum points as we currently speak. There we are looking at the celebration, subtle celebration from me on the touchline. But we're at 1-0, the captain at the current minute, because Scott Brown's still recovering from injury. Eric Sevierchenko, it's 1-0. Patrick Roberts, Iheanacho, take a shot, why not? Oh, good save, Roberts, back for Iheanacho. Oh, unlucky. For someone... Leon Goretzka swings this one in. Colo Turi! Oh, it's hit the roof of the net. We nearly replicated our first goal there. And Colo Turi, not far away at all. Not a bad attempt. Look at that. It looked as though it was going to dip in the back of the net. But it just went over. Here we go, right, Rashford. Oh, here we go. Here the hit It's 2 0 at White Hart Lane. Oh my god, I don't know how we're doing it. We just drew 2 0 with Inverness. It is now Celtic 2, Tottenham 0. This is the perfect Champions League group for us. It's shown it in the results. Look at this, Rashford with a lovely ball for Hienacho. It was beautiful from Rashford, a little bit of skill. And then the through ball, and Hienacho's unmarked, so it's quite an easy goal. You know, Tottenham, horrendous defending. Usually I'm the one with the horrendous defending. But Hienacho puts his 2-0 up. It's his fifth goal in the Champions League. Surprisingly, he scored no goals in the league, but five goals in the Champions League. It's 2-0. Oh, that's a, that's a position that surely that Ericsson won't miss from. Surely. He's not going to miss this. Kyle Walker. Ericsson. It's in. Oh, it's a good save. I thought it was in. It looked destined for the back of the net. Oh, there we go. Rashford. On you go, son. On you go. Oh, no, 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 no. Son, young man. Oh, he's done us there. He's done us. Oh, surely. What a goal. What a goal. That was us. That was what I was saying a moment ago. We are usually the ones at the end of the bad defending spectrum. And, um... Yep, that's what that was there. Look at that. It's lovely football, though. Look at that. That is marvellous. That's a great goal from Tottenham. Should have been better defending. Should have intercepted a pass. But Son heung -min makes it 2-1. And they've put a goal back. Come on, lads. Keep your head in the game. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't let them equalise. We're up 2-0. Taylor with a bad tackle. Janssen. Ah, oh, Christ. Typical of me. Oh, we didn't have enough men back from the corner we had a minute ago. Look at this. Counter-attack from our corner. Tierney puts in a sliding challenge. And it's just too easy for Vincent Janssen. He'll take those shots all day. And we've went from 2-0 up. It's now 2-0. Oh, he's done it. Somehow he's stripped Danny Rose with the ball or whoever it was. Scott Sinclair. He and Acho. Oh, I should have took the shot with Sinclair. It was a poor, poor shot. Just... The way it laid up for Ianacho wasn't good enough. 
Right, here we go. This is the kind of opportunity we need to take. Rashford. Oh, Chief Chi. Through for Rashford. He's through one on one. Marcus Rashford has sent the back in and out in the fifth minute. Marcus Rashford has scored a beautiful finesse shot. One Tottenham mistake. It's been all Tottenham the second half. They make one mistake and we take advantage of it. And look where it gets us. Marcus Rashford at 73. Tottenham 2 in the 85th minute. My God. We have been absolutely pounded this second half. Bombarded from Tottenham. But we managed to get that late, late goal. Park the bus. Park the fucking bus. That's it, full time whistle. A massive away a massive away win for us here at White Hart Lane. 86 minute goal from none other than Marcus Rashford. Look at the stats. Just look at the stats. We were pounded by Tottenham in that second half. But we weathered the storm and with one mistake, we countered attack and we got the goal. We get a win. And we're maximum points right now. Three games into our Champions League campaign. Right. I may have told a little white lie in saying I was going to go ahead and play two of the European games and play three games this episode. I'm changing it up. All I'm going to play in this game is Tottenham and Rangers. I'm going to stick to doing two games an episode and I'm still going to sim the Ross County game, which means the next episode will get through the whole month of November, guys. It's just so I can structure episodes for the future to make it better, uh, just to keep the, the series flowing just the way I want it to, a little bit better. So we've got the Rangers game coming up next, guys. Don't worry, that will still be getting played because that is going to be one of the biggest games of the season. Also, guys, I was just looking there at the bold objectives because I was a little bit bored and I wanted to check something before I went into the next game. I was looking at the youth development and although it is low priority for the board that I do something, I was looking here and it still wants me to sign a youth player and get them part, as, part of the team. And I was looking, I was thinking to myself, yeah, do you know what? We're going to do it. I want to have some young players in this team that, you know, they are just part of the career someone will remember. I do. It's always brilliant when, you know, your team brings up a local lad who's, who's shown some great talent, like how Marcus Rashford done for Man United. So, the best guy we can afford here is 800 grand. It's going to be this Archie Kelly. So, we're going to hire him and we're going to look for a Scottish player. We're going to look for someone who was born and bred, a Glasgow Ned, <laughs> somewhere uh, in Scotland. So, we're just going to look for someone. I would like someone who's a defender. So, we're going to say physically strong. Uh, try and join Kieran Tierney at the back as two young Scottish lads. But that's what I'm going to do just now, guys. Um, and hopefully we hear back in the future about a good uh, young player. There we go. Just got the email through. So nine months we'll be scouting some defenders from round about Scotland. And hopefully we we'll find someone who'll be a future starter in this team. So here we go. It's time. Our first old form of the season. Massive game. It's going to be huge. It's at Ibrox. So we've got to try our best to get the win, upset the hunt, I mean the Ibrox crowd, um, and uh, maybe take away the three points. Uh, I'm sorry, I, please do not abuse me in the comments. The other thing is, we've got a really, really tired team from the midweek match, um, so we may have to make some changes. So we're going to get on with doing that, make some changes to the team and see what the squad will be like for playing this old firm. There is, lads, the lineup we're going to play in our first old firm of the season, it's Ibrox. It's the old form. We need to get the win. We need to get the result. We can't upset all my faithful Celtic fan followers out there. So uh, let's get into this match. Hopefully we get the right result. Not going to lie when I say this, but uh, is it just me or does Ibrox look awfully close to Celtic Park? Hmm. It looks very similar to the stadium. Oh, I don't know what that's all about. Hey, there's the real thing. That's it. That's the real thing. That's the real thing. That's it. That's the huddle. That's the huddle. Just to clarify, because I feel that like some idiot's going to comment, it's the same stadium. I was joking when I said Ibrox and Celtic Park were awfully similar in this game. I do understand that it's his point, Arena. Just, just want to clarify that. Just want to clarify it. Right, here we go. We're going to show Ibrox and the Rangers fans how real football is played. Let's go. They're sitting second, I believe, second or third in this, unlike real life, where they're sitting seventh right now. So we may actually get a bit of a challenge, but I think we can win easily. Whoa. There's a chance here for us. Leon Goretzka. Swings it down. Sinclair has fell for someone. This one now is in the back of the net at Ibrox. Another goal from a free kick from that range. Fantastic goal. And I believe it was scored by, once again, Eric Sevierchenko. I'm not sure 
I'm still waiting to get the info or the close up of who scored it. But if he scored, as as Eric Sevierchenko, who has scored the goal. It's, no, it's not. It's Mikio Lustig. It's Mikio Lustig. Justin Mikio Lustig scores the goal at Ibrooks to put us one 0 up. Horrible defending from Rangers. It's another goal from a set piece for us. It's looking good. Twelve minutes. Celtic one. Rangers nil. Oh no, this is horrible defending. Good block at Sky from Rangers. Right, get your act together, Celtic. Come on. Not much to show whatsoever. Um, just a goal, really, and a couple of chances here and there for each team. Not a lot happening, though. Hopefully, it's a more eventful second half. There's Nadir Chief Cheat. Rashford finds Sinclair. Good shot and a good save from West Fodderingham. Tried to strike it first time. Whoa, here she comes. Watch out, boy, shoot to you up. Down. There's Iheanacho. He's just on the park. Kalecce. Iheanacho, he's just on. He sees... Ra no, I wanted to pass it to Rashford. Oh, you're joking. Oh, Rashford. Iheanacho's onside. Surely it's 2 0. Thank Christ almighty. I didn't want to win it just by one goal. It's 2 0. Kelechi and Acho gets his first league goal of the season. And at Ibrox, it's Rangers now, Celtic 2. Oh Christ, Joey Barton's played through some cunt. No, Martin Waghorn's away. Bring him out. What a save, scuff it. Oh Christ, otherwise, I can concede to Sevco. Oh, there it is, the final whistle. The old form victory goes to us. The first old form of the season. We win at Ibrox. I was hoping for a better result, but do you know what? It was a tough game. Gonna gonna be honest, Rangers did have a tough game, but we get the win, and that's all else. So we have one more game in this episode, guys. It's against Ross County. We're quickly going to simulate that. I don't know if we'll have to play a resting squad. We'll have a look at it. We may as well, though, because we have got a big European game during the week against Benfica. So we're going to simulate this game against Ross County here. We are away from home, up in Dingwall. Can't remember the name of Ross County Stadium. It's going to annoy the hell at me now. But um, we're up in Dingwall. We're playing a hell. We're playing a rotated squad. So hopefully we do get the win. But I wouldn't be surprised if we dropped points. Uh, we're up 1-0. There we go. Tom Rodgick getting a goal. Uh, his first of the season. We'll need to try and bring him into the squad more than he already is. I'd like to see him play a bit more. Obviously we played the Ross County in the last episode. So we're playing them quite quick. It's 1-0. We beat them 4-0 in the last episode. 1-0. But Scott Sinclair makes it 2. Can we secure the win? I don't want to walk away for draw. Doesn't matter, we get the win. Celtic 2, Ross County 1, a narrow win, but a weakened team, so I'm not bothered with that result. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes, he's back. I've been dying to use him. But he's back, that's all that matters. Moussa Dembele is back in the lineup. He is back from injury. We're going to use him in future games. He's going to be back to scalping ways. Hopefully, well, he's, he's never really had those ways in this career. He's only played one game and then got injured. But hopefully, we'll go to those ways just like real life. And uh, we'll get to use him in the next few episodes. But for this episode, that does it, guys. That's going to wrap up the episode there. The return of Moussa Dembele. Hopefully, it's a big return. We're going to play him the next time we can. Probably not the Champions League game, but in our next league game. So, in the next episode, we're going to try and get the whole month of November done. We should be able to do that, probably. Um... But we'll see how it goes when we get to it uh, then. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, uh, then you know what to do. Click the like button. And uh, if you enjoyed the content, subscribe. We're nearly 800. We actually might be 800. Last time I checked, it was this morning, so we probably are. If we're not, though, we're nearly there. Uh, so, thank you for the support, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit like. And uh, for me, I'm Ramon I'll see you guys next time.